Okay, welcome to a new episode of Sean Resolute. This video is week eight of the Achilles tendon rupture rehabilitation. Week eight was actually Friday, but we're on to Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday today, so eight weeks and four days to be absolutely precise. Um, so yeah, so basically Friday meant that I was allowed to wear shoes. Um, as long as I have a heel wedge. I'll show you what they look like now. Okay, so what I've got in each one of my shoes at the moment is heel wedge. Um, this is a, a power step one that I just got on Amazon, pretty cheap. Um, and then I just had to cut it to make sure it fitted in into the shoe. Uh, and I also, on Thursday before the Friday, um, I also bought these, so I wanted to get some new shoes, the ones that I had were some Nikes that I've had a couple of months, uh, they're, they're okay still, but with this coming back I wanted as much like cushion as possible, did a little bit of research on what could be good, there's nothing like definitive out there what, what, what's good for Achilles tendon rupture uh, coming back after 8 weeks, so I decided to go with the Hocus. Um, a lot of people that have them say they're super comfortable, the light, the spongy, all that stuff, um, all the stuff that I needed. I also wanted this bit to be a little bit lower so it wasn't, you know, irritating that Achilles tendon. So this has been fine for that. This top bit, super, super light and breathable, which, which I like. The wide, so my foot fits in them pretty good. And yeah, this bit is very spongy. Um, the ones I got are the Challenger ATR6, there is a 7 out at the moment, but I got the 6 because they were 50% off at REI. Um, these are basically a cross between a trail running shoe and a running shoe. Now again, main reason why I went for them, that 50% off, but um, what's good with trail running shoes is they normally have pretty decent grip because obviously you're on the trails. Um, and with my job being coaching, I'm on different surfaces. I'm on like plastic, plastic pitches, uh, soccer fields basically, all different ones. And then getting to the soccer fields, sometimes you have to go, you know, you're going through the trees and stuff like that. Um, especially if you're getting balls and, you know, you have to get to the field. Um, so yeah, these these so far have been have been great. Now they do they do have like a little bit of a rock to them. I think that's probably the best way to describe it. But if like me, you've been in the boot, you know you're used to like a, a giant rock in in that boot. So yeah, that's um, I don't know. I don't mind it, and I think I think they've been pretty good. Um, that being said, I've only been walking in these like two days now. So on last week, last week I started back coaching and um, I got sick strep throat basically. Now I would say that has been like the number one issue since, since the surgery. Coming back and doing the rehab and getting the strength back and mobility and stuff like that hasn't been as big of as, as an issue. but. I have been sick like a few times now um, and I think that's just because my immune system's down, stressed from it all, um, you know, run down like physically because you know you, you spent like a few weeks like just sat down doing nothing and then and then you're coming back and you're having to sort of push it a little bit with, with certain um, exercises and then and then obviously starting back working. Um, I think the big one for me was my, my work's in the evening and um, the way I've been going about stuff is I'll, you know, I'll wake up, I'll do my re rehabilitation, then by about three o'clock in the afternoon, you know, that's when I'm starting to get like a little bit, so my body's getting exhausted and I'll, I'll just chill out then for the evening, but now I'll come back to coaching and I'm having to like coach at six, seven, eight o'clock at night. Um, and my body's just not used to it. Plus we're in the middle of winter in Seattle, so it's cold and wet and all that good stuff. So yeah, if um, you know, if you're in the early stages of 
of coming back from from surgery just be just be aware of that and, and just take care of yourself basically okay so with the walking did a couple of little videos of, of um, demonstrating walking in in the shoes uh, I've put a few little shorts out from a couple of weeks ago walking like barefooted and how that how that looked um, but we're starting to get to a point now where it's actually looking like a walk um, around the ankle is where I'm getting discomfort and discomfort uh, it's not painful it just feels as though like I'm coming back from a sprained ankle and um, there's still like swelling around there this morning after after coaching and walking around probably the longest I've done uh, in like since I've done it I could feel like here just at the front down there was was pretty tight and weren't feeling much um, behind where the actual Achilles is it's them front muscles um, but when I'm when I'm walking now I'm pretty much able to go like heel onto the toe but there is you might be able to see it in the video there is like a fraction of a second like pause delay hesitation whatever you want to call it that's sort of like making it not look as smooth um, again I think I'm just going to get over that with time a little bit of strength there's probably still some muscles in there that are not fully strong um, regarding like the the sort of heel lifts I'm starting to be able to do that now um, you know with 50 50 weight bearing which is which is pretty good so that's that's coming back now um biggest issue for me is like my say my left foot my non-injured foot toe will be like forward like that when i walk my right one i have to concentrate on keeping it like that it wants to like naturally it wants to come out sideways and to walk like a sort of penguin foot if you like so I have to be conscious of that. Um, I'm working on like resistant bands and sort of trying to train my foot to be sort of stronger at holding that position. But yeah, again, just a little bit of patience. So eight weeks, I would say Achilles wise and walking and strength and stuff like that, I'm pretty happy. It's, it's honestly just like the rest of my body that, that I'm struggling with at the moment, you know, just getting sick and, um, my sort of left lower back started to figure itself out a little bit my shoulder just all these like little things that has happened just because of being on the scooter and crutches and you know stuff like that um, but yeah other than that if you're ahead of me during this process great good work if you're behind me don't stress about it you know, it, it's probably just a matter of, you know, days, weeks, and um, it'll all come together. Just, you just got to be patient. Um, and I know you might be pissed off and frustrated with it because I, I certainly, um, I sort of go like that a lot of the time. I feel good and then I have, you know, you forget where you've come from basically, how far you've progressed. So it's good for me to have the videos to look back on and go, oh, I've actually done all right there. So yeah, that's, I think that's about it from me. Um, yeah, week eight, Achilles tendon. We're getting there slowly, but surely. Uh, stick with it and I'll be posting more, more videos soon. All right, if you could like, subscribe, much appreciated. Bye-bye.